Wishbone. Wishbone Entertainment. What's up, what's up? Welcome to the first episode of The Pull Up, man. We out here at the uh, Seven Boutique here in Pittsburgh, California. We tapping in with that boy, Nick James, man. What's up with you, boy? How you doing? It's good, man. I'm doing good, you know what I'm saying? Happy to be here, you feel me? Shout out Seven Boutique. Shout out to bro, you feel me? Bro Jackson. Yeah, you know what's about entertainment for show? Sure. You know, big ups. You know, we're here. Yeah, we're here, man. So, cracking for 2020. Uh, 2019, you know, I dropped that Live Forever 3. It's the, the third, uh, Mixtape, I like to call it in the series. You feel me? But I feel like it's my best work. Uh, I dropped that like late July, early August, so I'm still like pushing that. You feel me? I just yeah, dropped my sure. last video like a week and a half ago. Um, so I'm gonna shoot another video or two from that project, and then I'm already working on uh, new music for the Lit Forever Four. It's probably gonna be four tracks. You feel yeah. me? And then just keep shit going, bro. I'm just trying to put out more content. I, I got hella shit out, but I am just feel like that's that's that next step for me is just keep putting out as much content as possible and just stay on their neck, bro, because I had some good buzz and good hometown love this last year, and I feel like it was like my, my height of hometown love, so. I feel it. I want to keep it going. I feel so, it, so, I mean, as far as the hometown love thing, man, like I, I was talking to uh, to Sammy and he was, he was talking about, you know, like the, the backing you get from your hometown isn't like, you know, you know where it should be you feel me because yeah, you know yeah, especially yeah. as an entrepreneur coming out of pittsburgh man like sometimes you feel like man damn the motherfuckers want to see you win you feel me yeah no, and it's sure. so i mean have you seen like a change in that like from the beginning when you were first you know really gripping out there just barely starting out to to now where you're a little bit more established you know doing your thing and now yeah. you feel people jumping on the bandwagon or just you think just the support the love is growing yeah, I think it's a little bit of everything, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, I definitely, you're always going to get some some new bandwagoners that were probably hating back in the day, but now they're showing love. Mm -hmm. You got old haters that are continuing to hate. You know what yeah. I'm saying? That don't, like you said, that don't want to see you win from Pittsburgh, or they're, they're going to try to be who's more from Pittsburgh, or, or where are you from in Pittsburgh, or who you really know in Pittsburgh, and blah, blah, blah. But, like, I've been out here for a minute, bro. Like, my whole family's tapped in out here, so. For me, it's no competition. I'm just trying to see everybody win, and people could tell that's that's really the real, bro. Because I pull up to events, I'm I'm eating food in all the local places. You know no, what I'm saying? Sure. I'm making sure to support homes, hometown stores like uh, Seven Boutique or, or the barbershop next door, or Studio Blends. You know, I make sure all the money I could I could give back to people in the hometown, like what I could put in their business. That way, like when it comes back to get that love, you know what I'm saying? It's real, and I feel like that that respect out there this year because people see me doing that and really repping the city when I go to different places and because a few years back you know I went on a tour with uh, AP9, Huss and we went up to different cities and it was like damn like it's dope to be repping like Pittsburgh shit Not for with sure. like real legends Definitely. and be in a different place you feel me but a lot of people in hometown might, might not really understand how big that is you feel no, me for so sure. For sure. i just feel like people people are starting to really notice and people are starting not to be scared to reshare shit on the instagram or tell their friends about it and that's really what happened this year was people just oh this is the homie like tap in like they ain't scared yeah. to share my shit no, no more for sure my, my shit is like it's just fully popping, legit it's just popping. You know, at the end legit. of the day you know uh, i see mr fab gave you a shout out too oh yeah, yeah you know yeah. and i was like man you know and that makes me proud right i mean i i never met you before and it's crazy yeah. how like everybody grows up in the same hometown but you're constantly meeting new people that have yeah. been there the whole time yeah. but i seen that i was like man that, you know every time i see something coming good out of pittsburgh bro, i'm definitely warm my heart like yeah come on pittsburgh come on, up. let's go let's move up I, that's why I never try to hate, bro, because, like, for me, I, I got people in my phone or in my DMs that are real legends that fucking Warren G, bro, that I've done songs with that ain't came out, but he hit me because he sees my music and he respects it, or Mr. Yeah. Fab or San Quinn, or when I did the song with the Jack, you feel me? Like, it's all respect. Yeah. And for me, like, that's why Cassie be like, oh, bro, like, when you really gonna make it and then like that, but, like, for me, bro, like, making it to that next level like i've already gotten to a level that i never could imagine i would get to bro so like i'm not gonna I slow down it. but for me like i got i got respect from real real rap legends bro you yeah. know what i'm saying and not just from the bay area but from all over even cats that are doing big shit nowadays they all know you feel me the young og nick james and, and yeah. respect it when i pulled up to shows and done shows when they either performed at the same spot or i just pulled up on some respect shit like 
cats really know what's up, bro. So it's always like, like definitely like, and, and people are gonna have different like spectrums. So when it comes to like, oh, when are you really gonna make it? Like, shit, bro, I did a song with the Jack and saying, come on, bro, what the fuck, I made it. Yeah, shit, bro. Like, you know, I feel you on that because just like, bro, just recently I started fucking with, you know, with, with Westbound Entertainment, that boy, bro, Jackson, shout out, bro, Jackson. And um, bro, I mean, I, I started off with just chopping up game with him, kind of. We just sitting here talking, bro. Then before you know it, I'm doing interviews with San Quentin. You feel me? I'm we're we're stepping that, doing that untold stories thing. And and just to me, it's like, man, what the fuck, like San Quentin interview? Like to me, it's like, I feel like you know, and, and I feel you on that level, man. When it comes to you know people and they're trying to have you reach these certain levels and they, they want to see you on MTV or well, yeah, what you have been on MTV too, right? Was it on nah, MTV nah, too? Nah, I've been, nah, nah, not nah, MTV too. I, I, thought, I, thought I, seen, I thought I seen a video on there, but uh, but I mean, they, they, they think making it is like selling your booty, like, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. At, at the end of the day, yeah, these, on MTV yeah, these big companies, companies, you know what I'm saying, out there conglomerate companies making you dress like this and that, but they, they don't understand this Bay Area independent hustle, man. Yeah, real talk, uh-huh. real, real talk. But there, there's been some lookalikes, you know what I mean? There's been people on other networks that may have long hair, they look like me, you feel me? But I feel like those are always, a, those are the gimmick cats, bro. You feel mm-hmm. me? Like I'm more the underground underdog, bro, you feel me? Like. That's that's why I do like an interview like this is because like like you said you feel me like I respect the 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 catalog that's been built with Westbound Entertainment yeah. right? you know what I'm saying with where, where y'all have been the same way I want people to respect me when when I put out my my music bro so I really respect cats that not only do quality work but understand what it takes to get to that next level you feel yeah. me of not just doing small interviews but really shooting for like all right let's let's start out let's get with some legends no, let's for really sure, like, for sure. let's get with some cats that are really pushing the line right now like maybe we, we ain't the we ain't got to that point of uh how big we could get but we're really pushing the fucking hard line right now yeah grinding me? hard bro. putting a lot of my own money into my shit you feel me so that's what people don't really understand how much money this shit costs bro no, like, it, sure. it ain't it ain't for free to shoot videos and put out albums in the studio time and get beats and, and not just take a, a beat off youtube but to actually go pay the producer you feel me and get i, I heard cats like this shit pisses me off a little bit but i hear cats that are on the radio that are that are i don't i don't hate on nobody blowing up either but yeah, i respect yeah. everybody's music musical talent but you'll hear cats on cameo where you hear the uh the little tag purchase your track today like yeah. damn bro you couldn't even pay the 25 to the producer you yeah feel me? you couldn't even like put put a little bit of money behind your own music to make it sound a little bit professional, you yeah. feel me? And, and you got lucky, you got on the radio, but that's what, that's that bullshit, bro, you feel me? So for me, it ain't it ain't about that, you know what I mean? I'd rather pay my respects to who I got to and make sure I make some quality ass shit. And when my time comes, that's why like, I don't owe nobody nothing, yeah. bro. Cause no, I pay my dudes, I pay And it's a love for the craft. It's oh, yeah, and, and respect, bro. Yeah. Like, I respect anybody who really pushes a hard line, because this shit ain't easy, bro. You no, know I'm, what I'm saying? Oh, man, you know it's a 24 hour job, man. man. You know, I mean, I'm pretty sure you got you got, you got got folks, that, you got family, you got other obligations. So yeah, it's, bro. And, and it's, it's, it's really for the love of the shit, you know? Like, yeah. people look at me crazy too. We're running around in a van with cameras out in seminary 10 o'clock at night, you feel me? Yeah. So it's like, we're. We're not out here playing. You yeah, know? I mean, we're out yeah. here trying to reach a certain level and taking and a chance. Where you're not going to with cameras, bro. Yeah, you, know yeah. <laughs> you feel me? You, you, you so know? You take risks. You put in time. It's that night time when you're already tired for whatever hustle you're doing during yeah, your, your you know, daytime. Exactly. And that's like, but it, don't nothing feel better than when you like get a lot of good quality project done with the work. Like, damn, we just got, we did that. Yeah, the thing is, so you know, at the end of the, at, the, at the end of the day, I think there's certain people that are just like black and white, like oh, Homer Simpson, clock punch people and then there's people that you know think outside the box and yeah. are constantly going to be grinding towards creating one like like i told a lot of people like i'm going to create this i'm going to create that whether it hits or not it really doesn't fucking matter to me because yeah. i'm creating some shit and i just like to see some shit be created you yeah, know? yeah 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 and, and to me like it, it shows you like just like real character in somebody bro like i, I still go to work bro I'm, I'm, I'm up at fucking five in the morning still yeah, going to make sure. sure i make a Sure. I got I got foundation real real priorities brother I got to pay for outside of just being able to pay for my own music so uh-huh. it's not and, and then I, I don't like just going to any other engineer so I'm going to quality studios yeah. you feel me and making sure my music sounds next level because I'll have people like you said like used to maybe like real homies that are supposed to really listen to my shit and be like oh man you got some dope shit and mm-hmm. but my homies don't gas me up like if my shit ain't ain't dope or to their liking they just don't really hit me up but but this last project people are like oh bro like you really sound like your the sound is there, bro. Like yeah. the quality and everything is there from from the the actual content, but how 
how quality it sounds. You no, for me? sure, so, for sure. That's why I want people to tune in and be like, damn, bro, like, how, do, how don't I know about him? You feel me? And then yeah, right. you hear my shit, you like, fuck, you feel like you were slipping this whole time. No, no, that's real shit. That's real shit. And especially yeah. out of like, man, man, like you said, man, we got to keep this money local. We got to support local people. Got do what local bro. people do because, I mean, if we're not pushing each other up, man, then, you know, if your hometown ain't behind you, if, if your people ain't behind you, man, it's, it's hard, but it's not impossible, you know, because hey. at the end of the day, Pressure make diamonds, you feel me? Real talk, bro. In Pittsburgh, I feel like Pittsburgh's on a, on a come up, bro. Like, my my family has been down here trying to re help rebuild for the longest, bro. Like, my parents went to Pittsburgh High School. My, my I was talking to bro, like, my grandfather was in the, the Army when he was stationed down in Pittsburgh. You okay, feel me? Like, yeah. I grew up in Pittsburgh. Like, I went to high school at Deer Valley. I left and went to Hayward for college. So, I've lived in other places. Uh -huh. But I've spent, like, 20 or 20 years of my life living in Pittsburgh. I bought a house in Pittsburgh. Oh, I, li yeah, I literally sure. live down the street from where we're at yeah. right now. Bro. I, could, I could walk here. I walk here with my dog, bro. Yeah, hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I pay, I pay my property taxes out here to make sure, like, Pittsburgh, I'm not trying to just buy a house anywhere, bro. I'm trying to make sure that I help rebuild my city, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because there's a lot of people who say, like, oh, we need to bring Pittsburgh up. But that's, that's on a whole nother... That's more than just on some rap shit, bro. No, you for know sure. what I'm saying? Like, you gotta do it with the music, the clothes, the restaurants. Like, all these cats that got good food, like, pull up, bro. We got the, uh, the homie Tone who will pull up right here with the big grill. Yeah. And he's from Pittsburgh. I know him because we, we met up at Deer Valley. Like, oh shit, we're from Pittsburgh, bro. Oh, for sure. For you sure. know what I'm saying? And Tone it will really throw down the grill. He pull, he'll, he shit, he'll be at the marina tomorrow on Saturdays, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, barbecue. But, and you gotta make sure, shot him out on the gram when he's yeah, out here. You know what I'm saying? Sure, but you gotta, you gotta do that. Otherwise, People are quick, quick to be in the comments like, "Oh, bruh's weak" or whatever. Oh, yeah, 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 from nine, sure. say nine two five something in the, in, the, in the comment. Like, okay, you're just the hometown hater, bro. No, but for, for sure. me, like, for sure. you just don't gotta say nothing, bro. Or you could come out and really see me standing out on the corner of the street every fucking Friday, bro. Because I get cut and we chill and we smoke outside. You feel me? Like, yeah. we're really, we're really out here, bro. We're and really. That, in I these, feel you. It's, areas, it's, it's so. everyday shit, man. This is this is this is hometown. So like, oh, yeah. like how you said, people get caught up too much in like what side of pitch, blah blah blah, blah this and that. It's like, dude. You you put enough for the t for piss for people who should just one concentrate on the fact that you're trying to bring the city up and but you know motherfuckers are always gonna nitpick something they're always oh, yeah, not gonna you, like bro. something yeah. you feel me but you know yeah. like at the end of the day fuck them all you feel me yeah got you but yeah. you know, <laughs> and for me bro I grew up I grew up all over Pittsburgh I lived in Bay Point in Oak Hills apartments you yeah feel me? I lived up the street in Kirker Creek apartments Wood Hill uh, Wood Woodland Hills apartments I lived down down the street right here on the water I, I re you know what I'm saying located back here to the same street I grew up on as a kid. I feel you feel me? I lived up by Buchanan Park. You feel me? Like I lived all over Pittsburgh, so I'm really like I know a lot of people from all over, and that's why I, I don't even trip. Like people will argue, be like, "Oh, bro, like you you moved somewhere else for a little bit, or you like, like bro, I went to, I lived in San Angelo for seven years, but I was still pushing the Pittsburgh yeah, line." Bro, you feel I mean, what, me? you like, supposed to be from there now, you know? Nah, nah, nah that? Like, but see, I, I show love. Like I'm still I'm I'm from all these places I go to, but my heart and and, and where I'm really from is Pittsburgh. Yeah, yeah, right? I feel you know it. what I'm saying? That's I why I, you, you got to come back to where you're really from, though. That's why a lot of people will talk shit, like bro, like. You don't even live here yourself, or you ain't out here really supporting the city that way yeah. we support them. Like Seven Boutique is constantly throwing events for for local rappers to come down, pull up, and, and rap, bro, and show for what the sure. fuck you got, and Pittsburgh, put in your man, local gear and shit. You feel me? Or or up the street, you feel me? Like cats are really running real businesses that really are trying to put Pittsburgh onto another level. If everybody just comes together, bro, like we could really do big things, you feel me? Or, or once once somebody really hits and as long as they come back, you feel me, that's my thing, like, oh, for sure, like people are gonna respect me when my time comes because I'm gonna make sure I come back, but plus I've already built the foundation, bro, you know what I'm saying? Exactly, I feel it, bro, just kinda like the whole late great Nipsey Hustle thing, you know, he was coming back to the neighborhood to try to see it grow, he was trying to open people's eyes to the bullshit around him and in the way that it's set up for people for, like from our areas to lose, you feel me? Yeah, hell yeah, bro. There, there ain't no real platform out here, bro. That's why, like, I didn't even do a lot of shows when I dropped my last project because Bay Area showcases now, like, it's hard to even come by, like, good promoters, bro. I used to fuck with hella good promoters and I'd be able to, like, work my way into opening up for currency every single time he came to the Bay mm -hmm. or that, like, I did this performance where we did like a competition and we got to open up for Wu-Tang at Rock the Bells, like okay. before the, the last Rock the Bells out uh, here. That's big, bro, that's big. But that kind of shit ain't really like out here no more, bro. Like unless you're really tapped in and making the same sound everybody is or, or uh -huh. you you know somebody from back in the day, like you don't get them same opportunity, so. I feel it, I feel it. For me, it's just like, bro, I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm picking, choosing now. 
that way I make sure when I do do a show, it's a big show, you get a big uh, draw of people, you uh -huh. feel me, that come out and, and want to fuck with you because it's some, <clears throat> something rare uh -huh. and something dope, bro, because cats will just do anything nowadays, bro. Rap is so, I just heard Dr. Dre say, nowadays it's like, it's quantity over quality. And right. It's like, you have, you have to find a balance. Like, you have to continually do a lot of work and you have to put out quality, bro, because, and that, that's the hardest part. It's like, how do you, how do you, how do you work every day and put out quality ass shit overnight? Like that, that don't really like, <coughs> it's never happened for people. Like maybe when you get to a certain point and you got the fucking <coughs> machine behind you, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. you, but when you're out here independent, the way that I'm doing it, putting all my own money behind myself, I, I got nobody, bro. I, 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 like I said earlier, like I got real legends in my phone that respect me, bro. Like real, real, like Warren G, bro. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Like, Warren Warren Fab, like, bro, you can stop at Warren G, bro. I mean, I mean, no, no disrespect to Mr. Fab, but man, Warren G, come on. I'm, I'm one handshake away from Snoop and, and Dr. Dre, bro. Exactly. I'm, I'm right there. You yeah, feel me? So, yeah, yeah, yeah. At that point, but. That's where like I gotta say like damn bro like all, all I gotta do is just keep playing my cards right and either that next person's gonna hit me or he's really gonna say like all right bro it's your time yeah you know what I'm saying let's really put some money behind this song or I like this song let's do something else like this together and push it you yeah, feel me definitely. like you you just gotta stay consistent but stay with quality so that the people that respect quality really see your shit bro and really like oh damn this is what I've been waiting to see you yeah, feel me that's that's why artists like J. Cole or them Kendrick Lamar's or people like that got that real deal next level fan base that'll last the rest of their life it's not some sure. in 2021 all these rappers that are out nowadays are going to be on some shit that ain't really relatable no more because that time has passed but yeah you feel me if you got some dope shit my shit people are still like one of my highest played songs is still the song with the jacket because yeah. if people got music with the jack, bro, like don't get me wrong, like it's 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 it does numbers and gets an audience because of the jack too and people respect it, but yeah. because it's also a good song, bro. No, you know what I'm sure. saying? Like I didn't just go put jack on some bullshit. You know what I'm saying? That's what a lot of people do. They'll go pay the high for a feature, and you make some weak ass shit that people don't even really want to hear. But I'm trying to make some dope shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? And make a lot of it as much as I can. I'm, I'm hoping this next project, I'm not going to have no features since it's only four songs, but uh -huh. uh, I'm just trying to make sure that I fucking put out something quality and fast, bro. Because sure. it, although it's been three months since my last project, I got to just keep keep going, bro. Right. Three now months in the rap world out. nowadays is a fucking a year down there, bro. You ain't so lying. Now, you ain't in a couple lying. months, I, I got to drop the project. So I just got to get a couple other things in order and, and just keep it going, bro. And put that pressure on myself to say, like, no matter what, you just got to put this shit out because... What I already know, I'm working on this quality. So no, it's just for sure, like, for sure. Let's just keep the ball rolling, bro, and put that shit out. But definitely, definitely. So, so besides rapping, what, what you like to do? You 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 big on like exercising, shit like that? You believe in f fucking running, smoke, just smoking or what? Running. If I run, I'm smoking first. If I exercise, I'm smoking first. Right. Yeah. I'm not a real. Uh, you can see, bro. I'm skinny as fuck. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like. A few times I've, I've gotten to like my workout yeah. plan, like where I'm like, oh yeah, I'm on it, bro. Yeah, this, yeah. this time I'm not gonna stop. Uh -huh. I'm eating five times a day, I'm going in, and then fucking two weeks later I'm done. You feel me? I'm smoking, I'm just kicking it. I feel it. But, but I mean, outside of uh, music, bro, we got the clothing line. You feel me? Shout out to Giant Elephant yeah, yeah. and my brothers, bro. And, uh, right now we're really pushing that. Like, I feel like this last year, like we, we took some time off, bro. We had a lot of losses in our families and shit over the last, like since 2017, we just Sorry lost a lot of Katie. people, bro. Sorry to hear that. I appreciate that, bro. Mm -hmm. And like, it kind of like fuck with the, the whole like vibe of just being like, fuck the game, bro. Like fuck yeah. all this, fuck, fuck the rap game, fuck the clothes. What is it, you mean? Cause a lot of this shit is fake, bro. You know, and like for me, bro, like, I'm gonna even say in some of my music, like you might think like, oh, he, he's fucking, he's rapping, whatever. But like, I'm really talking about some regular shit that I really be going through, bro. Like really that been going through my mind that I might be depressed. And I don't know like how they're trying to talk nowadays, but like some really relatable shit for real reasons, bro. You know, cause motherfuckers really seen some shit or been through some shit. You know what I'm saying? Had rough childhoods and shit like that. Like really have, as you get to be older, bro, you really see like all this shit play, play a part. So, you know, like I, I just, I'm focusing on the, the clothes, the music, mm -hmm. outside of that, you feel me? Got, got my, my girl, we be taking trips, and we oh, just yeah. be trying to travel, bro, see the world, you feel hell me? Hell yeah, hell yeah. And, uh, and get this money. Like I said, bro, I still work, so I'm, I'm up fucking five days a week, bro, still grinding. You I, know feel what I'm it, I feel it, I feel it. Making sure I got, a, I got a safety net no matter what, that 
because th that's the sad part about a lot of Bay Area rappers is like, or a lot of independent rappers, like some of the people that we love and admire as, as a rapper, they don't got no, no money to rely on as they get to be an older OG in the game. Nobody had the, their back to sign them to a label and really like give this person the respect they need. And not, not everybody's a, a, a fucking real businessman like E-40 or, or Burner. We really see some of the OGs that I look up to and be like, damn, like, bro really ain't doing too well. You know, yeah, for and sure, he, for sure. I'm just trying to make sure that I, I, I follow my dream, but I also got something some foundation to back it, bro. Nah, you know, sure, so bro. that way I can make sure my, my quality has a has a backing. Discipline is a big part of success, man. You know what I'm saying? Because I mean, it's easy to e easily to fall back to your old ways. Yeah, yeah. It's easy. It's easy. You know what I mean? It's harder to, to try to walk that straight line and uh, and make the sacrifices to try to keep your eyes on the prize. You feel yeah, me? Yeah. I had a good step there, bro. This fool was like, I didn't always like see eye to eye because we met like at a, at a later point in, in life when I it was just some other shit going on, but. He really forced me to wake up every day, bro. Wake up early, you feel me? Go out and get that shit. He forced me to get into college when I was about to just still be out this way, like fucking around, going to LMC and not really like focus. And my cousin had just died, so it was just like things weren't looking up for me, bro. Yeah, you know what I'm saying I was just I was just getting to a point and I was just like, you got to get out of here. And he put he put me in out of school. You feel me? So he just always taught me that work ethic where I just relate that to music and, and push the music the same way I would a full time job or. Like people might not see it, but while I'm driving to work, I'm writing verses in the whip. You feel me? Or or in traffic, like people might pass by and be like, "Bro, I seen you in the whip, looking crazy." Like mm -hmm. probably because I was sitting there rapping or doing some crazy shit, like just trying to make sure I, I don't waste no time, bro. Bro, that's bro. I'm telling you, bro. You know, like yeah, I don't got time to use waste all bro. the time. Use all the time you can, like to do whatever. Like, bro, I weighed 300 pounds. You feel me? Before you, you know what I mean? Like I started off just like popping push-ups during commercials and shit. For real? Yeah, I would walk to the store to get beer. I just said, I'm just gonna start walking and shit. A lot of that shit would like help me lose a lot of the weight, but it was just like small little efforts at the beginning, but constantly you, staying, bro. you know what I mean? So on the, on, the, on the same kind of height, That's bro. That's hella, di hella discipline, bro. Yeah, That's yeah, life, bro. you gotta change your life, Yeah, bro. the thing is, okay, you know what I mean? I could, it, it, it was mostly all the drinking. You know what I mean? It kills an excess amount. Yeah. That shit would yeast you up, you know what I mean? Bro. But it, uh, to me, it was like, damn, bro, I got used to, like, growing up, it was like a ritual in our family. You drink every Friday, you fucked up. You know what I'm saying? After yeah, work, yeah. after work, you know what I mean? Every day, bro. That's why, like, that's, that's, that was, like, with my pops, bro. He, he almost, like, died from liver failure just drinking too much, you feel me? You just full blown, you know? next level alcoholic, you feel me? But that's why, that's, that's one of the reasons. I, I drink, but I just stick to, like, I'll be at the house, probably perking on the low key, yeah, yeah, a couple yeah, of days a week, maybe, or when we go out, go get fucked up, yeah, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. But, Otherwise, like, I'll be just wild boy, bro, driving drunk, fighting a hell of shit. Like, and I'm not a fighter, bro, so I don't be trying to be out here, but when I'm drunk, you know what I'm saying? That yeah, hand, that hell hand yeah, yeah, bro, you forget it. Everybody yeah. forgets, you know what I'm saying, like, who you are. You so know, it's like, yeah, that's for sure, bro. And yeah, my whole thing, bro, is I just, I just, I just, I work hard at a lot of shit, bro, so I just, I like, I, not that I fucking, you know what I'm saying, what a fucking asshole or nothing but i just demand my respect bro so that's why i just i don't go out a lot of places so i'll be at the house posted up smoking yeah, yeah. you know what i'm saying watching the netflix just writing or, or playing focus. the next type of thing bro stacking money like i'm trying to i got a house but i gotta fix it up and sell it bro like sure. we don't know what the economy is gonna do so i'm trying to keep my mind on like that business plan because to me that's how a lot of like people that that got jobs like really you got lighter oh shit. but that's how a lot of people like win bro as they, as they get older like um uh, you feel me property, like property, property bro property, like you just exactly. go ahead you just you gotta you gotta buy some property bro so if you can like i always tell people like bro even property in pittsburgh bro if you could put down like 20 bands like everybody be flashing hella money so if you got like 20 bands it's your first house you could buy bro go try to try to buy a house in the p bro and then the the it might it might dip for a few years depending on how shit works but you could really make some money, bro. Like if shit looks up and the bark just came out here, yeah, that's oh, funny man, too, bro. People, bringing everything up. People try to say like the like Pittsburgh ain't the Bay and shit, but it's like, bro, we got Bay Area Rapid Transit like up the street from my house, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but I feel it. I feel it. That that was a good thing for for everybody in Pittsburgh too, bro. No, for sure, for sure. Yeah. Now I, I feel it though, on that hype is like probably it will, it will hold or gain value. You feel me? So just keep. You know what I mean? That's you just got to stick. Remember, E40 bro. been saying that shit forever. You know what I mean? So I'm gonna turn it into some fixer uppers, you know what I mean? Real talk, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't lying. I ain't lying. Even, even if you put the slightest amount of work, I'm not even doing hell of shit, but I'm just yeah. I'm, I'm making sure I put a few bands yeah. in, back in my a investment. Couple extra sinks and shit. Yeah, so when you sell your shit, you feel me? It's gonna be a lot of money, bro. It's a lot more money that I could invest into the music, into yeah. the clothes, because 
with like with giant elephant with the clubs like that's that's my my bros that's my best friends who i met when i went to uh, high school out at deer valley bro we met hooping and playing basketball and um i met my my homie betho and fucking his brother was like oh we should do these this clothing line and we were like well shit bro like we could be the face of it you feel me and we, we were just like freestyle at that point we were like shit we gotta like really put a put out visuals and do something like to take this shit to the next level so <clears throat> um but i'd be trying to drop money like i let them do the clothes shit and i'll be like all right well i'm gonna invest money into the business this year you feel me like here's a here's a band or here's a couple bands that we could put into like doing some quality hoodies or yeah. some quality crew necks and let's I mean, get some big patches plain, and like let's get some windbreakers going and and they just take it to the next level you feel me and doing all that shit quality so, clothes just like the music though exactly mm -hmm. bro and that's why you gotta we just gotta make sure our foundations are all there like everybody's still working in my clique and we we could easily like quit our jobs and, and do this shit full time and maybe shit would turn out more but i don't i don't know but we just we like a certain quality and we make sure our money's right and we we all tried trapping before but the trap life just became a life that it wasn't consistent, bro. And I need some consistencies. You feel me? And, and it's not. I went to college, but I'm not gonna go to college to trap. You feel me? Yeah, like, that, yeah, that's sure. that's what I don't respect with a lot of cats. It's like you could any anybody sells weed, but like the the, the cats I know, like you didn't really have to. You didn't have to be what you you were, bro. Out here, you know what I'm saying? Like some some people did, bro. You grew up in the low, or you grew up on in the bully at a certain time. You feel me? Or, or down in, in the 10th Street right here, or, or certain areas. You know what I'm saying? There was no excuse, bro. Like, you, you grew up in a certain place. That's where it built you to be a certain way. You feel me? But nowadays, shit's kind of changing, bro. You know what I'm saying? There's different... Different avenues. Different avenues, bro. Like, it's crazy that I, you could go down the street, bro, and 10th Street's just like... I mean, they're still with the shit, bro. You can't, you can't like, yeah. get the hood fucked up. But it's just even... It's just different the way shit is now, bro. And it's a good thing. You feel me? Even passing through the bully sometimes, like... They got new houses right there. New houses, bro. Like the shit. The shit is all like it's new and shit. Like not how it was. Like when I feel it. Like I, I lived there. I lived there right across the street from Heights. You feel me? Okay. Right, you know where the Bears at? Yeah, right yeah, across yeah. the street, right on there. And they put new houses where the, the apartments that we used to live at were. It was main, you know. Yeah. But it was a, they're nice ass fucking little houses they Man. put there. But I, that's why I always feel Pittsburgh's on the come up, and, and I feel like it's gonna be a long time before the property value goes down. But that's just the way I feel. Yeah, that's, that's me too, bro. That's why I feel like I'm in a good position right now. Mm -hmm. you know? Yep. So I mean, that's good, man. That's that's what's up, you know. And that's and that's listen. To, that's real game, though. Buy property, you feel me? Real, to, to real shit, bro. You, you know? feel me? I, I might drop a gem or two on on the tape about it, bro. Like I don't try to over like educate on, through yeah. the music. I still want to make it fun and shit. But I let people know like what the fuck I really be up to, bro. Because I'm not on no. Like when I say I'm outside, like I'm outside just kicking it, bro. I'm not yeah. on no fucking like I'm out on the fucking block. Like I'm out, I'm just really out here. Like we be at the, at the car shows, bro. Yeah. We really be at the at the car shows, like on the on what was it like every third Thursday or some shit. Like yeah. we just really be kicking well, the it. The community is a key yeah, yeah, thing, yeah, man. And yeah. I feel like I'm, it's Pittsburgh, you know. Yeah. It's, it's always love. Always. And uh, shout out to P all the time. Yeah. And every time, my whole nine two five, bro. Like I yeah. just wanna see like. People do good, bro. I, li I like seeing like A Wax come up. Uh, you know, he right now like he's he's doing big numbers for the P, bro. Like he's for me. People don't respect the OGs enough to like give them the credit where the credit's due. When it's like, man, we got some real like legends that are still out here making noise. Mm -hmm. But like, I, I feel like he's putting on younger cats. We're like that's hella tight, bro. You feel yeah, me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's putting on good artists, bro. I, feel, I never, I never met uh, that dude Rollo, but I really fuck with like his vibe and, and the music he's putting out. I feel like it's a good look for Shout Pittsburgh. Out Rollo, yeah. You know, like I feel like that's that's a good look, bro. And I just like to see artists doing their thing. You feel me? Young X, PT Mola. You feel me? Ski Team. Mm -hmm. Everybody yeah. like that that's making noise. You feel me? And doing their own shit. But even like people like. Cuddy, you feel me? Cuddy, yeah. like, I, we, I enjoy watching Cuddy's post, bro. I enjoy watching uh, Highway Foe and people from just from the 925, bro, that are really putting on, you feel me? Yeah. And and really just still pushing that line for us out here, bro. Just not letting shit go to sleep while I might be working on my next project. Like, let's just keep the city building. Let's keep the area building that way. Like, when like the other clown artists put shit out in between, you feel me? There's still a quality that the city has a, a look for. You feel mm -hmm. me? And the whole 925 has a look because there's too much bullshit coming out out of here that we don't get no respect because it's, it's too much bullshit. Mm -hmm. You know, so 
I just really appreciate when I see other artists doing quality shit, quality artists doing other other types of artists putting together new shows. You feel me? New types of interviews. Yeah. Like, people probably gonna get their feelings hurt, bro, because I, I chose to do this this interview. You feel yeah. me? Like. I didn't, I didn't choose to do other interviews that people might ask me to do and it's no smoke to nobody, no like no hard feelings, but I just respect the name, bro, you feel yeah. me? And the work that y'all put in where I want that same respect and I, I respect the quality. Oh, so for sure. I want people to feel that same way with my shit. You yeah. know what I mean, so. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but shit, what you slapping though? What, what inspires you? You listen to rock, rap, everything, a little bit, reggae. What, oh man. man. Everything. I mean, I mostly my, myself. Bro. I'm slapping rap. Uh, yeah. But I, like, my, my parents grew up on all types of music. Like, my mom loves like classic rock music. You feel me? That's what I be on, bro. I ain't gonna uh, lie. No lie. Like, that's, that's what I like. Heavy. But I live with my mom mostly. Like growing up, like it was back and forth with my pops. But my 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 pops would be more like on some like listening to everything. You yeah, he yeah, really yeah, introduced yeah. us to rap music and shit. But and then my stepdad really got us into like Santana. And his, uh, like, my uncle plays in a, um, a band or used to play in a band, Dr. Loco and shit, and they would be all over California and okay. traveling and shit. So I've grown up around, like, hella different music. But mainly, bro, I mean, shit, even like Bob Marley, bro, I would even put on some, oh, for some sure, good, for sure. music. I mean, music that'll never die. You feel yeah, me? shit like that, but mostly just rap, bro. And, and I, I like to listen to a lot of, a lot of different types of rap. I listen to new age shit, but. I'll keep it to like a limit because I can't relate to everything that be coming out nowadays, bro. And I, I try not to listen to shit that I don't, I don't relate to, bro. Like that's why, like, it's funny, bro. Like people will listen to hella street music, but you never done or lived no street life. So like, I always think, like, oh shit, this is slap. Like you, I can't do nothing but like love some Ozzy, right? Yeah. But also, like, I, I have a limit to how much I'm gonna listen because I can't relate my life to it as much. You feel yeah, me? Yeah, yeah, I feel it. And feel it. but that's why I enjoy it because it's, it's entertainment where I can say, like, damn, he's telling his story. Mm -hmm. So that's why it makes me want to tell my story more in my own music. So if it ain't like a, a widespread, then I just listen to myself. Bro. No, for sure, for sure. You know, I try not to get influenced by too many other artists because. When you see something pop, you'll be like, oh shit, I got, oh, I can make this right now, bro. Like, like people start changing something in their sound, uh, you know, yeah. trying to or, sound like the next person or, you know, just trying to go with whatever's popping. Yeah. You know? And people ask you, like, oh, bro, why don't you do a song like this? Why don't yeah. you do a song like, like so and so? You'll be like, bro, fuck you. Yeah, yeah. Right, I got my own sound. I'm do a song like, like myself. <laughs> right? And make sure that I have my own sound, because once I blow for my own sound, you ain't telling me shit. You right? Feel me? Like, people are going to buy my sound, they're not going to buy the one song that sounds like another 10,000 ones that sound that way, you feel me? So, yeah, yeah I, try to, I try to keep myself very, uh, like, an eclectic type of ear, bro, or, or stick to my own music. No, for sure, I feel it. Slap, yeah. slap your own shit, wear your own shit. You yeah, know? wear my own shit. I mean, like, from time to time, I'll wear other, other brands if I think something's hella clean, bro. Mm -hmm. You feel me? I can't deny, like, some, no, for some sure. clean ass shit. So, or, especially or some whatever's coming out of Pittsburgh, too. That yeah, bro. Like, if I see some dope shit in here, like, fucking, I probably have every pair of pants that these fools sell in here, or, like, just random hoodies that they got giant elephants that'll sell in here, mm -hmm. you know? And,. So like you always get to see some dope shit from around the way, but they got the cage where you see some Dave or some Supreme or some shit like that. So you know every once in a while you got to cop some some other shit that way. Especially as a, as a rapper, you got to keep the image up at least I some type it. of image, you know. And I've always tried to like I always enjoy dressing and shit, bro. You feel me? Just wherever I go, I feel like I've, I'm I'm promoting myself as an artist. As long as you ain't with me at the hours that I'm at work, bro, you're gonna see me like I'm just like this, cause this is this is Nick James, bro. This yeah, is really yeah. me. Like my real name is Nick James, bro. So yeah, it's like no, I ain't no persona. It's just Nick James. Exactly, exactly bro. So, yeah, but I'm always gonna be make sure I'm presentable, bro, because oh, yeah. this is a business, bro. You know what I'm saying? So the only time you might see me in something different is, is the Honda, cause I'm I'm on the move, bro. I'm trying to stay tucked off, so I'm riding the Honda. Otherwise, I'm in the the Marrow, You feel me? Up and down the street. You feel me? In a nice little fit. It's probably some GE. But you always get ash on me. You hear Nick James said he's gonna swim the marrow. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I wish they know I'm not even gonna jaws, bro, because that, that shit got real power, bro. No, I feel it, bro. Yeah. It's, the, it's the SS, bro. That shit is it's the performance version, bro. That shit is real real talk. Like 
that shit will get out from under you. And I've almost, I've almost died a couple times just being an ass in the car. Or that's how my cousin passed. Two of my cousins passed away, bro. Yeah. So like, I don't. I just try to be like, you know what? I'm gonna just calm down in yeah, it, bro. Awesome. You know Respect like, a little bit more. Yeah, I've, I've had a marrow before that. Before the, the one I got now, I've had like a Trans Am before. The Trans Am was kind of like a bucket, like a but I had just got for the jug. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I used to whip it in that shit. We used to have hella fun, but I'm just trying to, as I get older, bro, I'm just trying to make sure I live a long life and, and get to what I got to do in life. No, I feel it, I feel so, it. I know it sounds like some nerd shit, but I'm shit. No, nah, hell no, nah, nah. hell no. Nah. You know, everybody got their priorities, and, and yeah. I feel like the opposite of nerd shit is sticking to your shit. You exactly, bro. Like, you feel I'm me? happy to be on some nerd shit nowadays sometimes, bro, because when I look when I look at cats now, now that I went to high school with or you grew up with and be like, damn, bro, I used to be a fucking nerd back in the day, mm -hmm. but... And you were, we were focused on more sports and hoes or fucking smoking weed and, and doing whatever we were doing. But now them cats are making some fucking money, bro. I, I got my homie who, he's an engineer. He went to fucking, went to Highlands with me, bro. And then like, seen him go to Cal Berkeley and now he's an engineer making big money, bro. Like where he's just balling and it's just like, damn, bro. That's really like what we should have been focusing on as kids and shit instead. Not for sure. Sure. Cats are out here really making some, them nerds are making the money now, but they ain't yeah, nerds right. no more, you know? Yeah, I feel like my Shit father flips. works for, uh, for Google and he's like out in Japan, bro, they pay for everything. I mean, you want to come out here, man? I'm like, man, Japan. Man, Pop we were talking about that earlier, bro. We, I went to Japan a few years back. Oh, you did? Yeah, yeah, we went, we went on like just some vacation shit. That's, that's dope as fuck. Yeah, it was, it was hella tight, bro. It was like a life-changing type of trip, but I, we had done a show and an interview all, all off of like hashtags and shit. Yeah. Like, just like working the Instagram game and shit, but like they show hella love out there and, and the fashion's hella tight. Like they got a whole mall just for men. Like you go to the mall nowadays, bro. You got lucky if you go to like one or two stores that you really want to fuck no, with. No, no, for sure. That's that's why we started our own brand, bro. Just because it was like, man, that we don't ever like like half the shit that we see. You no, I feel me? it. Like, I feel it. Some pickings. It, it it we started our shit before a lot of people, bro. We, we've my brother used to do a lot of graphic work for uh, the hieroglyphics and, and Dell, and he would go on tour and shit. So like, I would see that kind of shit and be like, okay, like damn, like. I want to rap, and then he brought home like the computer with GarageBand, we started making music, and then we saw other cats like doing interviews and shit. So we we were doing, we had this uh, this website called Dope Mag. Mm -hmm. It was before Dizzler, bro. And we yeah. were doing, we were trying to do interviews and shit, but like we just we didn't really have like a the right mentality to like keep it up. So yeah. like I know it's a lot of work to do this shit, bro. Like, and I was just kind of the on the outlines, uh, sidelines, bro, just like watching and like. Helping as I could because I didn't have the talent to do none of the technical work, you feel me? But then I was just like, I gotta start rapping because I see all these artists and shit, and these folks are hella regular. So, like, I could just do, I could do this, bro. And that was like how everything just kind of like kept flowing and, and falling in place. And like seeing other people and having my brother and some shit, or then the homies start the brand, and then but we, and we pushed, but like the brand's been started since 2010. Yeah, for sure. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So, like, we we've been having like 49ers or warriors wearing our shit and, and being in other states or, or like i like could have had the chance to be in bigger stores and shit but like we're just trying to do our own shit bro and keep it like hella organic and, and hopefully that day the shit comes and topples over bro because we really started this shit from nothing bro like just from our fucking closet with the fucking karaoke machine wrapping or a, a fucking some screens off a window for the screen print that we did ourselves at the garage, bro, to make some clothes. What? That's no no smoke, bro. That's like, real shit. <laughs> like, my homie Dan was just really about, like, he wanted to create the brand and no matter what, he was going to do it, bro. So he really, like, and then made enough clothes to go buy the machine, though. You feel me? To get yeah. the real screen press and we built it up enough. That's why I said, like, I feel like, we made it, bro. Like we made yeah, it to a point where like, sure. we get respect, we get love, we get people that aren't afraid to share us with the city and say like, oh, this is like this the this the bro from Pittsburgh. Like yeah, check yeah, him out, sure, bro. Yeah. Or you yeah. feel me? Like even like Cassie, like, oh yeah, we, he would do rally. Like yep, yeah. like I was the boy out there, and that's that's why I get more love than I do because I, I did fuck with other people and I branched out, bro. And I wasn't yeah. I wasn't on like some closed minded shit to be like. I don't fuck with any of people. Like, nah, but I fuck with any of people. Like, yeah. I fuck with people from Concord. I fuck with Martinez. I fuck with Brainwood. I fuck with, you got to, because that, that's where my, my demographic, for when I look at like my numbers and shit, it's the Bay, bro. It's right here in these, in these hometown areas. Otherwise, it's in like Germany or Australia or like some random ass places that where it's like, okay, like I gotta, 
put together a, an idea to put a tour out outside the, the United States. Like, fuck the Bay, fuck trying to do a show in Oakland. Like, I've been doing that. I've been doing that. Well, what was the furthest you ever traveled? To, to be, I mean, Japan, but we finessed that, bro. It was just so all you, off the... You, you, you performed, performed bro. Yeah, yeah, all off the hashtag, bro. Hashtag it. This female who, who moved out there from Oakland hit us up and was just like, oh, like, I'm from the Bay, too. Like, I'm out here trying to push the line. She was like, what's up? Like, I, I fuck with your shit. Like, let's, let's do it. Like, let's go. And then off that, like, some people who, like, saw that had tapped in for, like, this um, hip-hop show they were putting on. So we just pulled up literally within the same day, bro. Like, everything just happened. I'm telling you. And, and then that just, like, what that creates back home is just showing you, like, we're just taking shit to another level. Yeah, just off the, off the strength, Japan, bro. Just off the strength of hustling, bro. Off of just, like, trying to play your cards right and just whatever motive you could go about to hustle your shit, just put that little hashtag because oh, sure. you're somewhere else, bro. Or like, um, I, but I, like I said, I went with Huss and AP9. I mean, I didn't fucking travel with them. I drove myself, bro. Yeah, yeah, fucking sure. in the Honda Accord. I mean, we almost died, bro. It was just me and one of my other homies that um, we went up and driving through like the snow and shit, bro. Mm -hmm. Like just trying to get all the way. We did uh, Spokane, um, Portland. Um, I forget some, it was some other city out there, we did like a little club in, performance. In the Honda too, though? In the Honda, bro. Yeah. And I was like, because the homie... All terrain me. Honda. Yeah, for real. And it really wasn't, bro. There was just times where we were just like, damn, bro. I got, we're like, you can barely see Honda. I've been on the to the Lake Tahoe and shit when it's like dumb ass dumb. And I'm just looking out the window with a hope and a prayer, you know what I mean? A prayer. Like, <laughs> I hope this shit's going to be worth it, but you're just hoping shit's going to change your life, bro. Yeah. You know, but like, I mean, it's all an experience that, you know, that, that you know, you soaked in as an artist, like, man, be able to go on tour and, like you said, invest your own money in the shit. Man, it's just, yeah, it shows, man, the love for the game and the love for the craft that you're doing. You feel tough, bro. And then just to be able to be like shit I'm like I'm just I'm doing a show with Huss and AP not my yeah. first tour my first time out of state like that you were slapping I'm, I'm with them that's yeah. what, you know yeah. what I'm saying like come on bro like to me that's hella tight bro you can't see you can't tell me shit bro Real shit I feel like, like I, I've done shit that people like everybody be trying to rap now and would love to do some or even like they start way too late in life but mm -hmm. like bro like I've really done I, I've done some shit I, I've been some places and like now I'm just waiting for shit just to really like, it's, it's that I'm, I'm one song away, bro, because I'm telling you, bro, I've been there, I've done that, I've fucking been promised everything before, and shit don't follow through, but as long as I'm pushing my own line, bro, like, that time's gonna come, bro. No, I feel it, bro, just stay ten toes down, yeah, bro, yeah. and just keep scraping your knuckles, bro, and it's gonna, you know what I mean? It's gonna be, you know what I mean? It's, it's time to shine, bro. Yeah, I'm trying, I'm trying to get to more cities, though, like I promote, I use the Instagram to make sure I promote, like, um, Atlanta a lot. Like I damn near, I was I was gonna have a manager who was from Atlanta and shit, yeah. just trying to tap in where, where music's really popping though, like where the real music game is at. You feel me? So I'm I'm just trying to do that or or just promote in other places so you can see your numbers go up because nowadays those resources are there, bro. Just through yeah. the internet. You feel me? So and a lot of the time, man, you gonna get a lot of extra love for like from places you know out the cut. So oh hell yeah, 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 yeah. And my thing is, bro, I've, I've done so many shows to where. I'm I'm good at performing, bro. Like I'm not even gonna gas myself up, but I, I'm I'm hella good at performing. Like people who's who's ever been or seen me perform, bro, will tell you like I'm definitely gonna turn some shit up. And I, I've turned shit up sometimes to where whoever's coming out after me that might have a bigger name. Like we just cleared the room because it felt like it peaked it peaked the the show. You feel me? And there's people who will vouch for that. Bro. Like it was, it was crazy, bro. Like certain nights that we just turned up to a crowd that might not even know me necessarily, uh -huh. but because we put in a lot of showmanship, bro. You feel me? People respect it, bro. And we had dope ass music to go with it. So I can't wait for like bigger shows and shit. And I got like a few things I'm trying to work to do bigger shows, but I'm just I'm waiting for those to like say, no, okay, sure. either I'm gonna do that or I'm getting out of state because the Bay just is too many shady promoters and shit. So. I feel yeah. it. We're just gonna keep it going until we use the internet pop to pop shit out of state and, and use that for the tours. You feel me to make shit more cost effective, bro? Because mm -hmm. the internet's there now, you know. For sure, for sure. Well, shit, bro. I mean, just everybody, just keep a lookout for my boy Nick James right here, man. You know, he's gonna yeah, keep yeah. keep ten toes, giant elephant. You know what I mean? Shout out Westbound Entertainment. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. You know, and uh, it was definitely a pleasure having you on awesome. here, brother. Really appreciate it. And, we, and we're going to be, you know what I mean, right behind you, man, the whole way, 22. Yeah, yeah, Westbound, so, so, yeah. giant elephant, you know what I mean? And you know how it goes. Yeah, full circle. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I mean, shout out to everybody. Yeah, yeah, and if you don't already follow me on all social media, who is Nick James, you feel me? Check out the music, Nick uh, James with the dollar sign S, you feel me? Check it out, it's, it's available for a free download or even go on all paid streams, uh, streaming platforms and you can find it, man. I guarantee that you're gonna feel like you've been sleeping this whole time because it's quality, quality shit. You know? Definitely come down to Seven Boutique also, man, if you want to yeah. get anything from, you know, uh, Giant yeah. Elephant to a Stone Cold Steve Austin shirt, yeah, man, they got yeah, it all, right man. Diamond Street, Pittsburgh, right behind that, man, pull up, you yeah. be here, you feel me? Keep come it up, kick it, you Yeah, keep it lit, have a good time, man. Yeah, yeah. All right, uh, everyone check out the table. We got the rolling table, the custom, Rolling table from Sky Harbor Customs right here in Pittsburgh on Bliss Avenue, man. Y'all gotta tap in. This work is just straight up art, man. It's a work of art. You know, so I mean, it's it's quality above quantity, baby. And it's straight stitched. I mean, go get your work done there, man. Cause I mean, y'all see it right here. Tap in, Bliss, Pittsburgh, California. All right, we wrapping it up. This is the pull up, our first episode with Nick James, and uh, y'all have a good evening.